okay so first know about your trainer just introducing about me <clears throat> i have 10 years of experience and i have cloudra certified cca 175 one and a half years back i have completed and google gcp data professional data engineer so this two certification recently i have without expire rest of the certification it's expired and i am working with iot platform it's iot and banking domain run telecom so this three domain i am working with my experience and total experience is 10 years relevant to big data 7 years and training experience is almost 5 years of experience and i am a shadow trainer with seven institution okay just a good support so this is about me and you know the courses right so this is completely designed for big data engineering syllabus and the people have some doubts and they may be confused to some topics so what are all that we will be going to discuss today first we have to clear from your user's perspective then only we can start a session okay so this is our policy actually we will not be go any faster it's completely slow session because tech and non tech both people will be joined in this session so we cannot go in fast track it's completely slow if you are confused in any places we will be clear then only we will go for the next topic the normal agenda and if you are not satisfied in our session for first 10 hours then we will completely refund your amount 100% refund okay because satisfaction and quality is important to us very to be frank i'm saying and interactive and concept basis and we will be designed with the three trainer right now for your entire batch and whatever we will be providing the vm and software everything is a latest version upgrade we will be upgraded then only we will be provide you and mostly hadoop 3x all the company will be migrated but spark 3 is recently released so we will be give you spark 2 and spark 3 both because in future one or two months they will be migrate to spark 3x version but for the time being we will be providing you the practice vm with the 2x and 3x both version will be providing and completely tracking you based on different separate whatsapp group if you have any doubts while doing the hands on in our session you can raise your queries there Because people will help you if anybody is will not be clear that then we will be conduct you and will clear that issue this is the major agenda any questions any queries any question it's a interactive session only so if you have any question or concern you can raise it to us can give a brief idea about what is uh, big data and is this different from data engineer data engineer is a whole it's a full stack operation big data is a part of platform that nowadays big data engineer nobody is there They're only data engineer they have to analyze all that kind of data and they have to know about end to end flow how to handle the data with big data environment without big data environment both it's a truth okay so there you have to clearly analyze about your data and do some analysis properly that's an important here you can see that session one minute i can see that <coughs> so here what all will be provide this many until topic 8 everything will be covered with big data platform and the non tech people they will maybe suffer while coding so we will be start from the python fundamental so all the completed then only we can start with the codings and cloud environment integrations and spark cluster azure integrations and aws integration these are all mainly used across the environment so you must know the basics about these things 
and statistics ml if a data engineer completely know about that entire full stack they know they want to know about ml integration also so that is the reason we will be included machine learning part also here okay so big data will come from topic 2 to topic 8 these are all is a big data ecosystem how data will be acted in between that had a framework and how other ecosystem will be working on that that all we will be discuss in this topic and how the cloud will be interact with the big data platform and without big data also you will be working now for few projects that only go with the spark integration that spark without big data they will be using data big cluster so that's the reason we will be included this is the majorly three all the companies are using okay this includes data engineer also on top yeah this is the completely data engineer part they must to know that the entire flow okay okay and session details we will be provided approximately 60 hours but it will go more than that also because we will be included cloud enrollment now with the three cloud enrollment so we are not sure online mode you know very well that we online only mode of training and python 3 only majorly we will be covered because if we covered scala and python both for the spark practice during the session people may be confused so that we will be taking only the python and python related all the ecosystem we will be taking to okay session timing is a week and the timing will be confirmed 7 am right now and we will be check with the people for those who have any convenient we can change it according to that and finalized okay and session hour 3 hours few of them will be thinking is more then we will be think to go with 2 and 1/2 hour per session and 10 minutes break or if it is 3 hours is our agenda but people will be thinking this is very long for us like that for each day sorry each saturday and sunday they have to sit for 3 3 hours total 6 hours so we plan to go with the 2 and 1/2 hours common okay any question here no thank you next course material so course material we will be providing a practice vm completely for lifelong support whenever you need a coding you can do with this practice vm with the latest version so you can use it because you will be going to practice with cloud also but cloud whenever you are going to use it you have to pay for that so that's a bottleneck and while you're learning and then you will not be touching up you may be in forget everything that's what we will be providing this practice vm to you with the latest update versions hadoop 3 and hive 2x spark 2 and 3 everything we will be provided to you that will help you for at least 5 uh, years you will make practice and all the session will be recorded that recorded videos will be providing you for the revision purpose and practice material what all the data set we are using what all the code we will be used for the practice everything we will give you for your practice also so you can do practice if you have any problem while you are doing the hands on you can raise to us that separate whatsapp group we will be help you because that hands on must important for the data engineer process so what are all the commands we will be used you can do from your end also then only you will get clarity and then online libraries so all the ebooks will be stored in library that uh, drive that also we will be shared you the recent ebooks also we will be stored there so whenever you have needed to learn more about this big data platform or ml platform all the data all the ebook will be stored you can use it for your self learn purpose and sample interview questions with the answer we will provide you that's for interview related mostly because 80% question will be covered in this interview questions because as a panelist i just designed that almost 600 question is there that will definitely will help you to clear that interview and last batch also one of the guy is using this interview question and clear without completing the session we just complete middle of part so the batch processing we have completed we will not be started with uh, streaming but he got offer so at the meanwhile while you are doing the practice this will help you okay any question
So Dinesh here uh, practice Hadoop VM clusters. So yeah. uh, what are the basic uh, personal laptop configuration required or it? it yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud yeah, that is important. So you minimum eight GB of RAM is needed in your laptop. How do you want to allocate that? Almost close to 60 GB, 6 GB to that EM. That's an important. If it is less than 6 GB, then the VM will be stuck and you will not be very fastly do the coding and all. So this, that's the reason only we will be expect from you with 8 GB of RAM. We don't want to learn anything more than that. We will give you guidance for SQL also. We will be giving guidance with Hive and Python coding basics will be covered. So don't worry. That all we will be take care. But this is the only one we will be expect from you. If it is not there, then you have to upgrade it. Many of AGP is needed. Most of that laptop will come nowadays with AGP RAM only. If it is less than that, please upgrade. Then only you can do practice well. That is our suggestion. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any other question? Shall we go next? So this is already decided and you know in that syllabus also. Here, first we will be covered with Hadoop basics and Hive and Scoop only we will be providing to the recording. Because it's a old project, people only using Scoop. New project, they will not be go with the Scoop. So that, that already recorded session we will give you, you can do practice for if you will be working with older projects. All other new projects, they will be go with Spark integration as well. So it's not required. So for the self-learning purpose, we will be providing the recording for scope. But majorly it's used for the interview. Okay. And how do Hive is covered, then only Python will be started. Before starting the Spark session, we will be covered the Python and then we can start with the Spark session. Spark, RDD, data frame, SQL, and MLN, all will be covered. Because Spark is the majorly, they will go with coding part. So you must know about that Python basics. Once you know the Python basics, then only we can start with coding part also in Spark. So it will be combined. So first will be in Hadoop, second high query, then third will be a Python fundamental, and then we can go for other things. Will it be strong in coding? This not required. We will be giving the adequate knowledge to you. And while you're doing the hands-on, you'll get become an expert. That's the reason we'll be taking one even Python is easy, but the concept little thing is available, which are always majorly covered with the spa that we will be taking care. Then only you know how the spark is working. Okay, that we will give you. And Python also mostly used for machine learning programs. So most of the packages for the Python, sorry, machine learning packages will available in Python only. So that we will be decided to go with Python. So. Okay, so that ID integration with Python, Jupyter, anyone will be taking care and we'll be do all the hands-on with them. And command prompt also, we will be go with them. You'll get end to end the flow. And easy to clear the interview if you go with Python to compare with the Scala. Because Scala, if you will be selected for the Spark development, you must know with Java background. That's an important. And that building the data in that Java file, that are all a little tough to you while you're doing that hands-on also. But Python is not required. Just to plug and play, you can do it. Okay, any question? Okay, so next we can go. 
next kafka so spark integration with kafka we will be taking care and then hspace no sql db integration with hadoop environment that is also we will be covered airflow nowadays scheduler is very famous this one it's a booming right now so airflow scheduler how it is schedule the job with your big data environment apart from big data it will be interact with the azure cloud environment also azure aws whatever so that also the basic overview will be provided you with a hands on that definitely this will help you nowadays the people will be moving to airflow scheduler because distributed mode we can execute all the job and will be continually do all the process everything will be controlled by airflow scheduler so that is we are going to discuss once hadoop topic clearly known very well then we will go with aws azure and databricks one by one so these are all the major services is mostly using for that big data platform that all will be covered and then statistics fundamentals that we are going to discuss and then machine learning machine learning part how it machine learning works that all will be discussed and that basic python concept will be discussed with the machine learning model and one more spark based ml project will be seen. so two projects we can see in machine learning that all the project what we are going to see everything i just informed earlier in the uh, coming slides so i just go through and certification practice so cloud or certification is majorly for the big data platform that i will give you some tips and interview perspective also how they will be raising the question how we have to resolve the question and the cluster sizes most of the question will come this so project explorations everything will be discussed during the session that will definitely help you okay the interview tips is not for the end it will be provided at the each ecosystem in the middle that's only how you will be achieve that interview and resume preparation that all will be discussed in interview tips okay any question okay so python what all will be covered so python installation with id installation we will be taking care and variable data type collections classes function control statement and slicing the data numpy pandas is the basics how you are going to handle your data that is an important well you go with python so programming concept comes with packages integration that we will be covered and the sql learn library during the demo session the people will be covered what is sql learn if you are covered here then you may be in confused so you know about the python basics very well clear agenda then only we can start it okay and then how do how do what are the topic you covered all the demons i just mentioned here these are all the demons we will be discuss and how do 1x 2x 3x all the difference we will be discuss and what are the file format we will be handled in how do that is also we will be discuss how that distribution flow everything and replication factors with azure encoding how do 3 will be modified with replication to azure encoding concept what is that so majorly that also we will be covered here okay so all the demons we will be discuss and yarn architecture yarn how it is working the runtime architecture of hadoop that is also we will discuss these are all mainly they will ask in the interview point so that we will be covered here and speculative execution how it is working combiner that are all the concept we will be covered here okay any question okay no problem uh, how many real time projects are like covered in this uh, uh, training this is completely go with each one ecosystem is covered we will see some project flow because all the company all the data engine will not be used to all the ecosystem mm. so we will be providing the mingle so integration with high one scoop or high one spark like that will be go at the end you will be covered one major big data projects so this is that one project this is a few changes is available with real time so that we will be modified all the ecosystem will be combined we can see one project flow and properly will be scheduled 
so this is we will do and we will give you that all the codes to you and you have to do it from your end once again with your own data set okay then only you'll get some idea what is wrong what is right everything will be discussed that the entire the flow will be same so it almost nine ecosystem will be covered i guess so the same you are going to do it okay all the combination you will be going to work with your ecosystem with your own data set because real time projects the combination will be available you can take your real time project sample data set you can use it here also because this is that vm will give you by for your own practice you can load the data set and you can do all the analysis okay so likewise 10 projects will be planned with a real time based that we will be covered you we'll be taking the data set and we'll do some answer on that majorly 10 ecosystem sorry 10 projects covered then you'll get some confidence 10 projects is completely hands on right while you're watching that you'll get some more confidence Clear? Any other question? Okay, next hive. Hive that major importance we have to, we will be covered. Partitioning bucketing concept and types of serving and the thrift server, hive server, beeline integration and the IV integration. So these are all majorly using the project. Everything we will be taking care. And the same you are going to practice from your end also. Because hive is not a part of a small thing. All the major big data developers they are using hive very importantly. So high CLI and BL, BLI CLI and the thrift server integration, that are all majorly they will be used. So real time, you are going to do that practice. Different types of tables also with the different file formats. Pocket file, Avro file, and ORC. So whatever the file is available, all based will be created. And JSON based to file also. Structure, semi-structure, all kind of data you are going to do practice with the AI. Okay. And performance tuning, top 10 performance, what are the performance tuning is available in high? That is also we will be discussed. That are all we will ask in that interview. So majorly, this syllabus majorly covered with interview designs. 80% will be covered with interview basis only. Because most of the people will be come for the, this batch for the interview claim. So this designed architecture designed for interview perspective, to be frank. I'm sure once you learn about it, you will get confident up to 80% to clear the interview. You may be stuck in 20%, that we will help you. What about in the day to day work? In this? Which one? And in this uh, data engineer, what are the day to day work in real time? Real time day to day work is a depends. They will be using few ecosystem only for their practice. Few of them will go with supports. Few of them will go with the development. So a lot of things is there. So daily work, day to day work based on while you go for the interview, you just know about your project. You want to convert that project into big data platform. That's an important. That we will guide you. Based on that, you can raise your question, and the people will be getting some clarity in that part. Okay, so that during the session you will be raising that thing. Daily work is a depends on the projects, support projects, few data big data engineers there. They will not be doing much. They just want to monitor it. Few of them in developer practice. So they have to do some coding development. It will be vary each of them. Okay. Okay. 
in Spark, Spark and Tele will be covered. How the data frame, RDD transformation actions, Spark data frames and data frame transformation actions and data frame data, how it is working and connecting with the JDBC table, Pocket, ORC, Avro, Hive table integrations on JSON, whatever. All will be covered here and we'll be seeing some batch project in Spark. How you are going to interact with the RDBMS, any or table, SQL Server, or Oracle, or whatever the table. How you are going to fetch the data, and you will be going to use with the Hadoop environment. And final output, how you are going to store in Hive and somewhere. Or you can store in some other RDBMS stores also. So that we will be see, and we will go with Spark submission also. So how we are going to submit the job, and everything we will be discussing here. Okay. Spark is a command line utility how it, it is a tool no it's a in memory analytics <laughs> whenever you'll be writing the query it just immediately move to the data into ram and then it will be performed mm -hmm. that's the uh, spark importance okay what is your name chetan what is my name do you know my name uh -huh. do you know my name dinesh yeah, it's available in chat, right? Yeah. So immediately, whenever I ask you about your name, immediately it comes from your memory. But whatever I'm asking my name, you just go and check it out in chat window and then you can say. This is a disk process, that is a memory process. Same like Spark will be active. That's immediately going to retrieve the data and store in the memory. All the operation will be start from memory itself. It's a RAM. Yeah. So that high level efficiency will be go with Spark. That's the was that's the reason Spark was very famous. Okay. Okay. So Spark, the so batch processing will be covered with the project one project, and then streaming. So all the Spark SQL and Spark streaming stateless stateful transformation, and we window and the slide and the watermark whatever all the topics will be covered and we will be discussed to go with one small project with the streaming also so that's a streaming project and performance tuning of spark that also will be discussed and spark ml will be discussed and do some hands-on spark ml project at the end of machine learning because we have stuck before one session don't who don't have knowledge in ml they may be in confusion in spark ml library so once cover Spark ML, at the end, we will be cover one project with Spark ML library. Okay, machine learning is important to understand the concept of Spark ML. So at the end of machine learning, one project will go with Python, another one project will go with Spark ML. Okay, so this one is we will be covered. Any question? Spark is mostly will go with it. SQL, RDD, data frame, data set. Data set was not available in PySpark. So data frame and then streaming, streaming, stream, structure stream, and machine learning library, ML, lib, ML. Everything will be covered. And this is the syllabus where we go with the two pages. So how you'll be going to submit via cluster mode, client mode, everything we will be discussed. And while we go with so, yeah, AWS or Azure or Databricks cluster, we will be see with cluster mode. Multiple distribution mode, we will be see one project there. So Spark is majorly covered. Almost 60% Spark will be covered in this session. Okay. Any question? Actually, what is, uh, can you give a diff uh, description on Spark? What is Spark? Uh, means what it will do, actually? It's a back end. It will be doing with multi-thread operations. Simple understand. So threading is available, right? The okay. each ecosystem, so not each ecosystem. Normally, computer will be go with echo thread, multi-thread only. But it will be limited. Spark will be utilized the cores and everything and will be distributed accordingly with multiple nodes and do that multi-thread operation. Very efficient manner. If you are going to work with your data with 10 minutes, if you are going to use it for other ecosystems, Spark will complete the same problem with one minute. 
so it's that much first because all the data in hadoop you are going to use it as a file system basis so what all the data you are going to store that will should be a file based on the file you are going to slicing the data and do some analysis and forwarding the output to them so fast efficiently will handle that kind of operation and integration pipeline if you are going to work with spark you must know about that sorry you you just want to integrate with rdbms tool or other any connector everything will be possible by a spark that's the reason separately databricks spark cluster will be introduced and it was very famous okay the spark will be work without hadoop technically it's not a dependent it's independently will act without hadoop environment okay hello dinish yeah yeah uh this is johan so my question is when it comes to sql like hadoop sql and spark sql how much are you going to cover all about uh, on sql no if you know the basic sql is fine spark sql will be a wrapper layer so what are the sql command that you are going to design in spark on top layer you can use your spark sql command Let's say, for example, you have already RDBMS table. There, you will be using select start from table command. The same command you can create it in your data frame Spark and create as a Spark table, SQL table. On top of the layer, you can do that same analysis. It's very user friendly. Yeah, I understand. But like, how much are you going to prepare for the SQL part uh, during interview? Yeah, SQL question will come almost. Uh, Forty percent, they will be asked. Okay, and the rest of the coding part, they will be covered with forty percent. Project discussions and the ecosystem, everything will be covered with the twenty percent. That I will be. Means, yeah. Are you gonna give us like I had like uh, I mean you know like the, yeah. Do you have any notes that you're gonna give us before yeah, we start like? Yeah. Definitely, one? I will give you how the Spark SQL, the normal SQL work. DML, DDL, mostly we will be using here. That we will be covered here. But Spark, there there is some limitation to compare with the SQL part. That is also we will be help you. You don't worry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Python fundamental also like this. Spark SQL will be start from the Hive, right? Hive also is a kind of SQL wrapper only. During that time, we will be covered DML, DDL, any what all will be possible here. That we will be discuss. Okay. Okay. Any other question? So if you can show demo, that will be good instead of a PPT. So it will understand us in a brief. No, it's a so paid session, right? During that time, we will go with the demo only. That's the reason I just mentioned, right? This is you may have some doubts. No, because why? Why? Because it will clear for us. So how it is friendly, friendly or not? So if you show some demos, so like Python like this and Kafka is like this and uh, Spark is like this, so uh-huh. it will give an a uh, very good uh, overview. Yeah. Okay. That's we will give you no shares. This is the basic, right? And there, people will be confused in this slide. This is just introduction. If any doubts, mm-hmm. anything, we will be discussed. If you don't have uh, any uh, doubt, we will go with small hands or no issues. Yeah, correct. This is a demo, like right? before getting into the real. Uh, okay. Training. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I will do one thing. I just open my environment. Yeah. What you are going to get the VM, right? That I just open. You can see that. So why? Because it will give a clear picture, so you know, understand with okay, the people. I'm assigning a GB of RAM here. Because it's a just a doubt discussion session. Once it is done, then we'll go with the demo. Okay. 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 So, okay. Any other question? So, 
So for this, we need to use the Linux system or Windows system. Yeah, if we have a Windows system, then VM will be provided to it. Simply, you can use this VM. No, what is this Databricks? Databricks is a separate Spark cluster. Now, what is without hard few projects will be go with the Databricks system. This is highly used nowadays because cost also very less and for whatever you used that one you have to pay. So very user friendly and cost cutting we can achieve via Databricks. This is a Spark cluster, separate Spark cluster. You can do that. This Databricks is only now available in cloud. Yeah, it's like a cloud only. They will be providing the auto scaling cluster in cloud. You just want to code and mount your all the data across with the AWS Azure. You will be stored the data right. So if you are going to use this, that integration is available in AWS and Azure both. You just call this Databricks and implement it. That's it. Actually, who developed this Spark? They only created this database. Mata is a harrier. So it's vastly used for the big data platform. If you go for the interview, all the company will use AWS, Azure, and Databricks. Definitely you will get some question in this three. And uh, what kind of ID are we using? PyCharm, Jupyter, or Spider, we can use any one of this. I mean, yeah, so do you think, uh, can we integrate those things with uh, GitHub and so on? Which one? Like, can we use PyCharm and integrate with GitHub? Yeah, that's if needed, we can integrate how GitHub will be integrated with PyCharm, that also will be discussed. Because whatever the code will be developed, right? And we'll be going to inject into GitHub. That is will be help you. Okay. Okay. Dinesh, uh, Vikas here. So, are we going to con uh, like uh, cover uh, migration, like physical uh, big data infrastructure into cloud migration kind of? Task? Okay. Are we going to cover this kind of task? Migration is a part of one thing, right? So that is, they will be go with Spark itself. So how you will be migrate the data that we will see during the hands-on weekends. So into AWS or Azure? Whatever, migration, actually, one minute. So data migration, we can go any one of that, no issues. It does just migrate the data to your AWS cloud environment and then do your analysis. That is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how you'll be interact with your data, with uh, your normal data via Spark and inject into cloud environment, that will be cool. That's like a mounting operation we can, that is also we can discuss. Also, Airflow, right? Airflow is a lot of transfer, file transfer uh, operators are available. Based on that, we can transfer the file to S3 or Azure Blob, whatever. We can transfer the files. Okay, from on-prem to cloud. Yeah, that's an Airflow scheduler, we can achieve it. At runtime, every time batch processing, we can migrate the data. So Airflow will be taken care of. Here also we can achieve, or Spark via we can go with the that is also possible. Okay. Okay, thanks. Because in AWS, they are using some other ecosystem, but everything will be chargeable. But Airflow is not a chargeable one. So open source. So that's yeah. we will see with the hands on notions. Mm -hmm. ST file transfer operator is available, blob transfer available, MySQL to S3 file transfer protocol is available. So based on that, we can do that. What is Kafka? What it will do? Kafka streaming the data. 
real time whatever the data you have right that will be completely move into hadoop environment that's based on via kafka so it's a real time completely it's follow with kafka architecture okay let's say for example signal you will be using uber right uber cab you have used on traffic signal that you will be used right on the immediate fly you will get that in outputs so that all will be possible via kafka real time streaming all other things will go with batch processing few of them we have to go with real time only so let's say for example you are going to use your credit card in your atm once the amount is debited immediately you will get some notification via message so that's within a time within a 5 minutes you will get all the information that will be achieved via real time only but that statement credit card statement every month once you will getting right that will go with batch processing so that's the difference of course real you working with reality with minimal latency so this is the environment you will get for your practice so here only you can do all your code and everything so hard of free expression you are going to use it 3.2.0 is a stable version that we will be provide you here you can do all your practice mm yes this siphon ls as you said we will be take some data and how it will be work with it will spark data from that we can see okay this is a partition data so there is some data is available i am going to use pyspark the pyspark 2.4 we have used 4.4 here but we will give you installation with the spark 3 and 2.4 both will give you 2x and 3x both so based on that project you must know about it yeah. but current Currently, what we are doing HDFS, DFS. That are all is a hard of commands that we will be discuss. How has hard of lot of the command is available that we will be discuss that in that our hard of session. It's a basic. Okay. Okay. So here you can see hard of the basic we will be cover with hands on. The commands right. the concept is understand then only you can know about the commands properly so that we will be discuss so this is the basic command how you are going to retrieve the data from hadoop environment that is i am doing so ls means listing the data by a hadoop you want to list the data you can use this command and pyspark you can enable to pyspark environment and do your practice so let's say for example i am going to write the data read the data from data frame sorry from hadoop environment i just want to create a spark dot read dot pocket file format i'm going to read and then i just look at it so now the data will be located and pipeline will be created via dag and will be stored so there is a concept is available transformation and action that based on that the data will be retrieved so likewise we can get the data and do some slicing dicing and make some count everything we can achieve okay 
So there is a way you are going to handle it. Yeah, this is, is the thing. It is reading from the file. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So this is called schema file. Based on the schema file, you can create as you are expected. You want to use only few column, just use select command. It's like a SQL related. Yeah, got it. So everything we can achieve it. So we can directly connect to database and uh, retrieve. So instead of file, that also possible. Yeah, yeah, everything. You can retrieve the data from uh, RDBMS table. That is also we can do. So that all the connector will be discussed. This will all completely go with answer. This is an example how the Spark is working. So all the connectivity I just mentioned, right? Yeah. So how the data will be read from our JDBMC, Pocket, ORC, Avro. Avro is a different kind of operation we have to do. Everything we will be going to see. And table also. High table with the Spark integration, we can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. As well, semi-structured data. Semi structured data, JSON format, mostly you will be facing while you are developing any REST API integration, mostly they will be using semi structured data. So you must know that complex data also. That is also will be discussed with you during the session. Okay. So you have some idea, right? Any question at this point? So like this, 10 projects. Each one ecosystem is covered. Majorly, we'll be go with one project in that. If we are covered with the Airflow or Headspace, one project, each one will be covered. How reality will be go, this ecosystem will be working with that. That's where we go. And AWS also. AWS will be using this services and we'll be creating and we'll be go with integrations. Majorly, all the ecosystem mainly focused with Spark and Hadoop. Yes. Okay. You will be providing uh, uh, AWS and Azure license or how? It is. No, this is a paid service that we will be used for the hands on. If you have your credit card, you can open for a free tire account for $200. That's you can do all your practice. Okay. But once the two hundred dollars closed, then they automatically will be charging you. So try to avoid and close it. Uh, after that, you cannot do any practice more, right? Because cloud is over, you cannot do any analysis with your hard hands on. So that we will be providing you this PM. Okay. This virtual machine lifelong, you can use it. This is a completely open free, no problem. This. And any recent version we will be developed, that is, we will be provide you. At the time, you can download and, and you can use it for your practice. We will provide the access to it. Because mm -hmm. each version, they will be modified, the things, right? So mm -hmm. any new tools, new version will be upgraded. We will upgrade to our VM and we'll give you for the like of practice. Mm -hmm. So immediately so, you can use it. Yeah. So we're using any tool apart from this CUI? No, no, no. This is only majorly you'll be used. Here only all the codes you can do practice. This installation we will tell you during the session. How we can install, how we can plug it, and where you're going to download. We'll provide all that. After <coughs> reason, that nomination form will be getting that details. Your mail lady, everything. We'll give you some full access to you to write, to, to download it, and then you can extract and use it. Okay, we will be thinking both. If we will, without this VM, I'm going with you, then you may be in confused. After this, AWS services over. You will not be doing very good practice. Yeah. So you want to recall everything via recording, you can use it. Just you want to recall the recording and you can do practice here. That's simple, right? So that's we will be thinking from your end. Okay. So, any other question? Finally, cloud or tips and uh, big data certification tips we will give you. This is a small. 
just all you about you what you are going to learn you will get some idea i guess all of you right any question so you know the price everything and duration course duration everything you know price don't know it was already mentioned right okay fee will be 22000 indian rupees and 60 hours minimum weekend session so it's 2 and a half hours session 10 minutes we can give you a break because we have planned to go with 3 hours but a few of them will be thinking and personally they will be chatted me to go with one two hours two and a half hours it's very long for us like that because few of them connect from uh, apart from india us based they have mid night time so almost they will be connected 9:30 9 o'clock so it's very bad to them that's what we just reduced off now here so two and a half hours so one and a half 15 minutes is over then we will give you 10 minutes break and we can start it just refresh okay any other question those who are all interested you can pay your amount a spot and part payment you can pay this with a two part payment help plus 10 okay so after 15 hours or 20 hours is over then you can pay the rest of it any question payment mode you can go with google pay or account both you can do it those who are interested you just ping me i will give the details everything Okay, this is the Google Pay account. You can use it. And the contact, you know, right? Fine, zero one zero, zero one zero. This is the contact number. Any question, guys? what will be what will be the duration between 12k and 10k no no start a duration it's a for two part payment installment you can pay in this 22k in two installment 60 hours approximate duration but it will go more than that also it's no, i'm asking i'm asking between like if i pay 12k right now and then when i have to pay 10k like end This of the like no after a 20 hour session is over then we will be getting okay this almost uh, one session will be six hours right so after one month our prospect will become okay so next month you can take questions okay because 60 hours we will be planned to this is approximately we are not sure because the hard drive as aws as well data which everything will be combined So we are not sure how much, but approximately we will decide to go with sixty hours. Okay. Any other question, guys?
uh, when will be the actual uh, like uh, the class will start next week the same time morning next week but, the same time yeah but not 7:30 7 o'clock okay session time will be next week Seven a.m. IST time. That means eleventh Saturday. Eleventh. Okay. Okay. any other question so what background we should have in order to do this data no we will give you that uh, concept right programming will be covered only this is enough from your end basic no, program from our background our experience so who can do this course no it's not a experience based if you have minimal experience is over you must know how to handle the data right even fresher also will become a data engineer this course will help for all the data handling people those who are come from that non tech they also will learn about it and will go become a data engineer this is not a hard syllabus and clearly saying data engineer that's the reason we just planned if it is hadoop syllabus only that only one thing is enough only hadoop basics is enough but actual the corporate will be planning to go with all the things because azure is a microsoft product all the corporate using microsoft product we will not be avoid them aws cloud also they will be using nowadays AWS, Azure, and Databricks, all three majorly using for data engineering. So that's the reason we'll be taking this three. If you want to become a data engineer, you must know about this. And integration with the machine learning platform. That's the reason statistics will be covered. Once you know the statistics, only how the data will be handled via machine learning. That will be covered here. without statistics if you are going to learn about machine learning you may be in confused so that's the reason we will be covered with the statistics basics and machine learning because nowadays they will be thinking that machine learning part with full stack developers they must know in the end to end because nowadays the recession is going you know very well if i am going to take only aws most of the people will be learn about aws only so the way is clean but you is long simple understand so it's already cleaned the path but most of the people will be waiting the queue so you may be lost your opportunity with azure integration because few project will come with only azure has been said is there data lake is there so that integration that kind of job you may be lost it in interview that's the interview you cannot attend it that's the reason azure and data which all this three we will be covered now so this is completely will be a full stack developer for data engineer once you know the practice well once you know that aws integration well or azure integration well then you will become a good full stack developer you can attend any kind of interview in data engineering i'm sure okay. this That's python easy yeah. to learn python language yeah python 3x we will be covered mm-hmm. basics we will be covered once python basic is clear covered then only we will start with the big data platform like spark spark is majorly coding part so python is covered then only spark will start okay yeah dinesh mohan here yeah uh, actually uh, which certification is better uh, aws or azure service uh, it's not like that it depends on the project and people few services they will go with azure only few services they plan to go with aws only there is some margin is available 
let's say you are the head of sorry big data developer okay you know something about big data but you don't know about that cloud environment properly but that interview panelists they will be expect anyone from azure they are that people only they will be give some preference and few interview they will give preference to aws am i right because that's the cloud service they will be using so both you must know then you can serve, survive in that interview and clear it if anyone i am taking you may be lost that opportunity you cannot attend the interview okay so whatever you will do practice you will go attend for one or two times you may get failure but third time you will get some answer you will prepare some answer and going to attend them again at the time you will be clear correct me right if i am wrong please yeah yeah clear clear so that's the reason we will be focus aws azure database this majorly used with big data platform integration so dinesh vikas here so uh, we are uh, like going to perform like 10 uh, uh, hands on projects practice yeah so uh, are those on like uh, both the cloud services or particular like yeah this cloud service we will be going to show you okay if you needed you can open your free tier account that will be there you can do all the practice okay because how aws we can create the service how we can interact the data with big data platform and how we can do the analysis everything we will showing you in hands on mode okay but if you want to do practice in cloud environment you want to open the account free tier account you can open there you can do your practice or if you have any uh, if you are in project any project in this cloud environment you can use that account for the practice So, and finally you can clean delete the services so that all we'll get to yeah, yeah go so, ahead so so specifically we are uh, uh, going to do hands on on uh, both, both the cloud services aws as well as on azure correct yeah this everything will be a cloud sorry hands on only <coughs> aws we can see that's the services that we declare right <coughs> that's the reason s3 bucket how we will be use it lambda without that uh, uh, big data platform they will be using serverless architecture what is that how it should be functioning across that aws environment and vm machine creation ec2 cloud computing rds database handling emr cluster creation redshift integration data warehousing handling everything will be showing these are all the service names simple understand okay that's okay. you are going to see likewise here also you can see azure blob is there virtual machine is there hadoop inside there sql databases data like generation one and these are all majorly they will be used okay so you will get some idea this all will go with hands on only how we can create the service how we can use the service like something likewise there are which how the database we can use it how we can integrate with the azure storage and aws storage and creating the interactive cluster and the automated cluster how you can schedule the job properly with the time being you don't want to create again and again in this cluster whenever you used so whenever you need it automatically this will be create the cluster execute the command and terminate it by itself you don't want to do anything it's completely automation process only with the spark attention so that kind of scheduling the job everything we can see during the hands on this is all majorly in hands on only okay yeah fine finally we can create one service and we can do some projects it will be integration with s3 rds or redshift anything it's a combination of one sort of project we can see hands on how the reality they will be using cloud and cloud Okay, this are all the separate trainer we have and you they will taking care of. You don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. What do you cover in Redshift? 
redshift is a kind of data warehouse tool so it's completely you have a n number of data that you want to handle properly then cloud will be providing redshift it's a data warehousing part you can store and you can retrieve the data do some analysis with that so hadoop is a part of data handling right so what are the data incrementally you can do other ecosystem will help you but if you want to handle with the bulk process then you need to know about redshift so that is the reason we will be covered this redshift okay these are mainly used in real time projects so that's how we can provide the properties how we can open it and how we can provide the access to the people everything will be taken care clear Uh, to become a data engineer, so uh, do we need to like learn Cosmos DB and all? Is it required or mandatory? Cosmos DB in Azure will come, but Cosmos DB mostly the people will not be used to because it's a dependency will be created with other NoSQL databases. Okay. So that Cosmos DB the project they will not be going. only REST API integration they will be using Cosmos DB and cost is very high. So hmm. basically, what they are doing, they will be integrate their data with actual server, and then they will be doing some analysis. Okay, the pricing very high in Cosmos DB. I have seen and I have done one project with uh, Cosmos DB, but cost is very high. So mostly the people will not use. That's the reason data lake storage they will be use it. Integration everything they will go with hierarchical namespaces. Okay. I got few of the question. So sorry, now only I'm seeing this your question to the uh, chat questions. Why DataBricks cluster? I already said what is the use of that. Only for Spark, you can use DataBricks regarding certification, which is the best AWS or AWS. Okay, Azure. This is also an answer. It depends on the project they will be expected. Some of them will be go with Azure Solution Architect. And few of them will go with AWS. It uh, depends on the use cases. They will be select the tools also. If that visualization tool, they will be go with the Power BI something. Azure will be the backend layer. Already data will be stored in uh, their Microsoft product. They have to migrate. Then Azure they will be suggested. If apart from Microsoft product, any other tools they will be used. They will go with AWS. It uh, depends on the use case. But you must know both. Are we using RDD? Yeah, RDD also we will be discuss data frame RDD. Both I told right. <coughs> Here you can see RDD transformation and action. Both we can see. So here is available RDD will be covered as well as data frame. Both will be covered. No issues. RDD to data frame integration and data frame transformation. I'm sorry, I didn't see your chats. It was not open during the time. Regarding certification, which is the best, okay? Again, I told one minute. Okay, same question. When will the class, okay? By next week, will we start? How will you prepare for us for the interview? That I will guide you. The interview perspective, I will guide you. Mostly after the, during the spa completion, we will start with the interview question also. You can go for the small companies for the interview with what are all the question we have raised and what all the we have seen the hands on and what are the question they will be raised in you, you will not be answered, you just bring to us, we guide you in that. Okay. Anything else? Uh, labs and all will be like uh, done in through VMs only, right? So there is no like something like uh, the cloud area. So cloud areas are required yeah cloud is a depends few places they will be expected one minute yeah come again okay La uh, labs everything will be done through vms only right uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, cloud environment, we can go with the cloud only. AWS Azure, that projects will go with the cloud only. 
okay the aws subscription is uh, it's like a month uh, like a monthly or something it's same like azure yeah same like azure only okay okay so pay as pay as you go that's the cost you go. Right. okay okay Okay, any other question? Okay, guys, you have some idea, right? Yes. Okay, if you don't have any question, okay, we can wind up today. Mm. Oh, it's I'm not sure you have it will go up to uh, September on um, most of the deposit will be covered during the September and I'm not sure after that that's what I just mentioned in approximately 60 hours Is there any past student who can check Sorry? feedback? Feedback from past batch. Past batch, okay. I will share you that feedback note. Okay. So that's right. If your other will be clear, the interview I will be posted. They got an offer during the session, the June batch. I will post that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, if needed, I can get the feedback from the past student also. Yeah. I will share the video, past student's video. What will they will be mentioned that during the feedback session, I will share. Okay. Mm. And uh, post training, is there any like a kind of a support or else a help we need from your side? Yeah, definitely you can post your questions in that WhatsApp. That's what we'll be creating a private WhatsApp group. Okay, so okay. You can post that, we'll give some guidance. Okay? Yes. Any other question? Okay, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Dinesh. Thank okay. you, Dinesh. Thank you.